In today's video, I've got five facts about Eri from the series My Hero Academia slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 4 and 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Eri is the newest character introduced into the My Hero Academia franchise, but at the time of the making of this video, not a lot of light has been shed on her. She is the granddaughter of the Shi Hasaikai boss and is the center of Overhaul's plans in making a quirk destroying drug. Eri made her anime debut in episode 66 and her manga debut in chapter 128. She is a female human and six years old. Her birthday is on the 21st of December, making her a Sagittarius. Eri is a small girl who stands at 110 centimeters, which reads as three foot seven. She has a pale complexion and has a very ill look to her that really does add to the mystery that this series has given her. Now, she has large, innocent looking eyes that are a really nice shade of bright red. Her hair is of a white, bluish gray color and is worn down, messy, parted in the middle, and very long, almost reaching her waist. Her most noticeable feature is the small brown horn that sticks out of the right side of her head. This horn will grow larger when her quirk is activated. Attire-wise, she wears a plain beige short sleeve dress with bandages wrapped around her arms and legs, only exposing her wrists and ankles. Midoriya also noticed that Eri was carrying numerous scars on her body. Now, her attire will change later in the series to a white dress shirt, a red dress over the top of this, black tights and brown boots. Personality-wise, Eri, as soon as she was introduced, showed us her very innocent, fragile, and frightened personality, and that was without even putting a sentence together. The sight of how hard she was clung to Midoriya portrayed this to us from the get-go. Her relationship with Overhaul is one that really makes us feel for poor Eri, as she has never felt the affection of another person. She was actually overwhelmed by Midoriya's touch, as that was the first time she had ever felt such kindness. Eri has been subject to so much misery that when any murderous intent or ill will is directed at her, she would just completely shut off rather than the natural reactions of screaming or crying. Eri will remain silent and just accept that whatever will happen, will happen. Now, Eri is also shown to have a kind heart as she would rather willingly follow Overhaul to protect others that are trying to save her. For Eri, the guilt of those getting hurt in her place is just too much. Having never experienced happiness, Eri has never smiled, though thanks to the events to come at the UA School Festival, we will see her smile and laugh for the first First time. I love a happy ending. Eri's Japanese voice actress is Siren Kobayashi. She is a Japanese child actress that has starred in movies and television series. Now, I believe her work as the voice of Eri is only her second voice acting job. Eri's English voice actress is Emily Neves. She has voiced other characters such as Kanade Tachibana in Angel Beats, Kotomi Ichinose from Clanad, Kazumi in Brian Hilda in the Darkness, Ayase Shinomiya from Guilty Crown, and more. Eri's quirk is called Rewind. Her quirk allows her to rewind a person's body to its previous state, so much so that she can rewind a person's body to the point before they existed, which is crazy. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, as this can also be a good thing. And I'm just gonna hit you with a quick spoiler here, so heads up. Eri is actually able to undo the damage Midoriya puts on his body when he uses one for all at 100%. In fact, he is actually able to keep it continually activated at 100% as long as he is in contact with Eri which is awesome. Looking forward to seeing that. The way this works is that Eri's blood is able to attack a person's quirk and stop its activation. Thus, you can see how she is vital in Overhaul's plans in creating a quirk-destroying drug. Worth mentioning as well, the horn on Eri's head is the source to her quirk's power. Dependent on the size of the horn will tell us how strong her quirk is at the time. Her quirk is also an accumulation type, which means it's one of those that she has to charge or build up over time before using it. 
It is pretty plain to see that this girl has not had the best of upbringings and has experienced more misery in six years than most of us will in our entire lifespan. Not an awful lot has been brought to light about the kind of relationship Eri had with her parents, however her rewind quirk was accidentally used on her father which caused him to disappear completely. Her mother rejected her after that saying that Eri was cursed. Following this complete rejection from her now only parent, Eri was given to her grandfather who is the boss of the she Hasaikai. Her grandfather asked his subordinate Kai Chizaki to find out what Eri's quirk was. Of course, upon finding out about her rewind quirk, Chizaki developed his master plan involving the creation of a quirk-destroying drug that met his ideals and would thrust the Yakuza to power. Eri's grandfather refused Chizaki's inhuman plan. Chizaki, of course, did not like this and would not see this refusal as an end to his plans. In doing so, he decided to put Eri's grandfather into a comatose state. Thanks for watching this is my video. Five facts about Eri from the series My Hero Academia. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, let me know in the comments. Now a quick shout out to my Patreons, that in Thomas, Jamie, Joshua, Aaron, Videogamer75, Warwick, EH and the rest of you supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome, thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help my videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, Peace.